So I feel like a lot of you would really love and appreciate this video and also find it helpful, especially if you are struggling with uploading large video content onto YouTube. Guys, I know that it can be very time consuming as well as data consuming. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a free software, a free tool, a free app that you can use to help solve all these problems. Now, if you are interested, then definitely do keep on watching. Okay, so we're going to go straight into this tutorial, but before we proceed, I just want to say that hi, welcome to my channel. In case you guys are new here, hi, my name is Kalechi Mbomana. It's so good to have you here. I'm so excited to have you here. Feel free to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button right here. Join the family and yeah, um, if you're a returning subscriber, hi girl, hi guy, welcome back. So back to this video um i'm going to be sharing with you guys a free application software tool that you can install on your laptop and this would help in reducing the file size of your video content that way it's going to help in terms of saving time as well as saving data so if you're someone who is trying to minimize data usage and consumption this is going to help do the trick for you so if you are interested sit down bring out your laptop because it's going to be like a step-by-step -step process and i want you to come along with me during this process okay so it's very practical roll up your sleeves if you have any and let's just get started <laughs> okay all right so the app that we're going to be using is called hand break now this is an amazing app for converting as well as compressing your video content shout out to stephanie annie for hooking me up sometime last year you guys she's an amazing beauty content lifestyle content creator here in nigeria so do follow her over here as well um yeah let's just go straight into this let me just show you guys how you can install it and how you can make it work instantly and you know get you moving with your content and with your time and with your data as well because data is money time is money nobody has time to be spending money unnecessarily okay so let's get into it okay so the app that we're going to be using is called handbrake so i'm just going to go on to google right here so yeah, this is it. It's an open source video converter. This is going to help with converting your video content to whatever format you want, as well as compressing that video to a smaller size. That way it's easier to kind of upload. It's easier to manage as well. So I'm going to just go ahead. What you want to do is to just go ahead and download it. But again, you can install this in your Windows PC or on your MacBook as well. It is it's user friendly so it's not restricted to a specific um laptop or desktop or whatever um yeah so i'm just going to open this up we're just going to click on this for mac again depending on the platform or the laptop or computer you're using you want to go over to if you're using a windows you can go over to other platforms but i do believe that when you click on the website it automatically de um, detects your operating software and selects that for you but since i'm using a mac i already have this installed on my laptop you can just go ahead and click let me just go ahead and click on it okay so once you've downloaded the software you want to go ahead to install it and then let's get started with this this is actually very easy it's like a one two three step process but i'm just going to be showing you guys the exact process on how you can apply this so i already have this installed i'm just going to open this up right now so that way we can get started to this that way this video is not so long because i hate long tutorials <laughs> okay so this is what the application looks like right now this is what the interface looks like right now to get started with this app just click on this open source that way you can identify and pick the video you want to compress or convert so just click on wherever you saved it you can drag and drop like i would usually do i'm gonna do right now just click on that right here so this is a video that i want to compress now this video is currently um over one gig at 1.29 gigs to be precise let me just select it right now this is where we get started now typically i don't like to play around with the settings because again this application already has like a preset right and i'm going to be showing you guys what i'm talking about right so this is what it is looking like right now over here we have the title we have the preset this is how i exported it 
we can change things around like i said this application is amazing for converting video content as well as compressing it but for this purpose we're going to be using it to let me see we're going to be compressing alone right so now um i want to make this web optimized because again we're putting this on the web on the youtube so i'm just going to click on that and what i want to do now is to go over to the video right go over to the video i don't like playing with this because again this app has kind of like a fixed preset now so if you hover over um this button right here this dial right here this slider right here you would see that it kind of explains this whole process so if you adjust um, if you want to adjust the quality you want to increase the quality you slide it to the right if you want to reduce the quality you slide it to the left but i'm going to leave it like this because i feel like 22 is like the perfect spot i want to compress the content but not necessarily reduce the quality that it's very obvious and drastic right so i'm going to leave it here and then i'm just going to go back to summary and look at what we have over here you can play around with all of these but these are really unnecessary we just want to reduce the size so i'm going to click on browse because this is where we want the video to be stored so let me just click on downloads i want to save this in my downloads and choose yes allow amazing so once you've kind of set it to a point where you are satisfied with you can go ahead to just press start literally it's like you don't need to do too much just press start and it's going to automatically start processing and converting and compressing your content if that is what you opted for right all right so while this is encoding and processing you can see this um, process bar right here the eta says that it's going to take about 16 minutes and yeah so it's going to take about 15 minutes so you can go ahead to do something else you know um grab a cup of tea or eat something or do something else and come back okay so that took a while that took at least 15 minutes like you said so now the encoding has finished let me just go over to where i saved it which is my downloads so this is the video that we just compressed now the video size is about 469 megabytes this for me is where i like to think is comfortable for me however if you still want to shrink it down a bit to maybe like um 100 megabytes or even like 50 megabytes you can do that but i like to find a balance between quality and you know quantity in terms of megabytes right so if you want to still reduce the quality you can then just move it to the left side again you want to kind of um, experiment with this but let me just move this further back to about 40 like it is right now and what i'm going to do is i just want to show you guys what it would look like when i reduce the quality as well as the size let me just do this again right uh, so now this one that we just exported is 44 megabytes like i said now if you move over to the left side of the dial it's going to compress it even more and also reduce the quality so now what i want to do now is to play these videos side by side so that you guys can see the difference in terms of the quality as well as the size okay All right, so I just wanted to show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison between the two video files that we just compressed. Again, if you're compressing, make sure you stay within 18 and 28, so that way you still retain quality in the video. If you look at the video on the right side, the one that we compressed at 40, we can see that it's starting to look a bit grainy and less quality. Again, we always want to retain the quality, but reduce the size. So stick to 18 and 28, but if you're like me, you can stick to 22 also put into consideration that youtube also compresses your video files so yeah um yeah apply this to your video content and let me know how that works and basically that is it that is the end of this video feel free to check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel if you're yet to subscribe stick around with me and let's learn more i'll see you guys in my next video so definitely click on it right now